Yo, everybody entitled to their own opinion, and this page is damn sure not for everybody. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> hmm, I'm just saying. Hmm. Hello, how you doing? Hope your day coming along well so far. But my name is Naya. Pleasure to meet you. Now have a seat. Let's talk about something real quick. <laughs> Hurry up. Have a seat. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> now. <laughs> School's in session. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, you ever been minding your business, right? Matter of fact, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? For real, for real, what the fuck is wrong with people? Yo, you ever been around somebody at the end of the day where, like, <laughs> like, everybody got a certain type that's cool, fond and dandy. You know, Everybody's beautiful, you feel me, in their own way. You feel me, everybody's beautiful, you, you know what I mean? Especially in their own way. But, um, <laughs> you know how when it comes to trolling and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be, people say somebody ugly or somebody's pretty and all that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, those type of categories. I mean, they all right and all that, all right. Nah, so, well, why is it when you have come across that one person that's very beautiful, so pretty. You inspire them to be so beautiful as well, too. Like, you, you inspire beautiful words into them. Like, life. <laughs> life. <laughs> and the first thing they say is, why you get all the attention and I'm the pretty one? <laughs> Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You ugly, and that's why. <laughs> oh! I'm ugly. Okay. What a friend. What a oh, associate. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Wait, hey. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> it's the mindset for me. Wait. Bitch, you ready for the technical? Because, bitch, you boring. That's why. You The shit that you in tune with is fucking whack as fuck. Bitch, you don't even know how to crack a fucking joke. Let alone understand at the end of the day how far back that wig is really pushed back on your shit. And you ain't even cute, boo. You not even cute. They tell you you're all cute and all that. You not even cute. So since you want to come for me, now I'm coming for you. Yo, you know you ever come across one of them, them, them people like they think they better than somebody and all that? And as soon as you come for them, <laughs> it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. So, mind you, niggas talk all this shit about you, yada, 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 whatever the case may be. But as soon as you speak up, <laughs> you wrong. <laughs> because you about to come at that ass. <laughs> you about to fry him a new whole fucking asshole. That's what you about to do. <laughs> That's what you about to get him. Like, real talk, you about to get a new motherfucking ass, boy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, you ever been bullied? <laughs> and the bully who bullied you <laughs> used to talk about how dirty you was? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, a kid. You're a whole fucking kid at the top. <laughs> now you the adult. And you see this motherfucking dusty bully? <laughs> Ew! Oh! Help him! Help her! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so you see them! Remember they had so much to say about you? Like, you just you know, replaying everything in your head like, yeah, yeah, nigga, that motherfucker. <laughs> you don't wish bad on them. We don't wish bad on people, but they wish bad on us. <laughs> That's how that shit works. <laughs> so you see them, they see you. Huh? Oh. Oh. You need a dollar? So sure. there you go. <laughs> You're holding the door today too? Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh oh. You're being nice <laughs> and you're acting? You was the bully though. What the fuck? You know, God places people in your life for a reason. To show you at the end of the day, be careful how you treat people respectfully. Because at the same time, too, it's funny how the bully 
becomes the joke. What a valuable lesson. There's nothing funny about it. It's actually sad and pathetic. To allow somebody to feel unworthy of themselves because you don't have respect for yourself or you don't know what love looks like up close in person. And even if you did know, you wouldn't disrespect somebody because L-O-V-E, that energy hit different respectfully when it's genuine and peaceful. When the right people come into your life, you don't have to put up a fight. You don't have to protect yourself and wonder why, okay, well, I don't feel right about this person being around me. You don't gotta ever have to question yourself at the end of the day. Why? Because the same way them people willing to show up for you, you willing to show up, with them, show up for them with the same energy, with no malicious intentions towards anyone. It's nothing but respect and genuine shit. With genuine people who genuinely know how to respect themselves and is willing to learn themselves and honor themselves in a healthy way and understand at the end of the day, respect comes with maturity, it comes with growth in a healthy way. Find a healthy balance within yourself. Once you find that, you will understand how to respect the next person. Because at the end of the day, the joke doesn't last long until it's you. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Just because they gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. You deserve to be treated with respect 365 days with no malicious intentions towards anyone. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people.